What we have here is a garden LED uh, solar self-rechargeable light which is not working at all. So it stopped charging itself and uh, I guess that corrosion is the main problem and in this video we will try to fix it. As you can see here, it's turned on and it is not working at all. These are quite cheap and cheaply made, but uh, the point of this video is to, to try and handle corrosion in the electronic parts, which can be quite uh, troublesome. And you, you can see that it is quite a simple product. There is a seal on the, this plastic uh, glass and we have uh, LED chips with small solar panel. And finally inside we can see what is going on. Soldering is fine, there is not a lot of corrosion on the first sight, but if we get out the battery, what we can see is that there is tiny bit amount of corrosion on the plus part, we gonna fix that. And, and yes, yes, there is a corrosion on the red wire contact. No corrosion on the minus. So let's go and fix this. Let's try to fix the battery first. I did test the continuity and the battery looks promising. The first thing which I want to do is to remove this corrosion. Use a fine sanding grit. Just remove the, that top layer. In these situations when there is a corrosion I, w I love to use anti-rust. It is a chemical which uh, dissolves and prevents further spread and creation of uh, corrosion and rust. So it is quite a cool product, inexpensive and I recommend it. What you want to do is to apply the anti-rust anti on the corroded place and for this small amount and like prevention you don't really need a lot of time just leave it like that for like 10-15 minutes and wipe it out with alcohol also the problem with rust we have on the plus side of this uh, AA battery contact. You also want to to apply anti-rust on it. Basically you can see that only this chemical can can remove by itself corrosion. Just apply it and uh, actually I will take a step further and immediately after applying anti-rust I will wipe it because it softens the corrosion and I will use my grit you see that there is a buildup on this contact and it is probably what is making a uh, a major problem. When we wait we can clean this uh, top plate. As you can see there is a lot of rust on the screw parts.
already looks better. You can really go picky about this and clean it 100%. Uh, but uh, I personally won't bother that much with it right now. So we can proceed with battery. It looks quite a clean right now. I think this can be tested right now. So let's do assembly. Okay, I won't assemble it completely. I will leave it a bit on the sun to, to see if it will charge. Okay, I placed the solar LED light uh, directly on the sunlight and uh, let's check. It is slowly charging the battery. As the battery is completely discharged because it was for few months that it is not working I will leave it a bit like this to recharge okay after some testing uh, we have a solar panel with controller which is uh, charging this battery but uh, the problem is that the battery is not re reliable anymore it just uh, voltage is jumping up and down so I will need to replace the battery for the unit to work I have analog batteries which are really high quality but I have these rechargeable alkaline batteries which I really want to test uh, in this unit because uh, I don't have charger for them and it is a great opportunity to, to, to just dispose them and use them in something as this uh, charger inside of this unit is not that, that smart it will probably charge this battery and um, I can use them in this device until they last. I know so some of you will tell me that this can leak easily, but what the hell, let's just test it. 1.59 volts. I left it a few minutes on the sun, direct sunlight, sunlight, so I can check if there is additional charge. assembled and as you can see working perfectly I hope you enjoyed watching uh, please consider subscribing and liking this video if, if you have any question leave the comment down below and until next time see ya